Okay, are we up and running? I think we might be. As per usual, give us a thumbs up down below, wherever the thing is. Type something out in the comments just to let me know it's working. That'd be marvellous. Something just popped up on my screen already. Don't need that. Let's pop that away. Right, let's see if there's anybody there. Hmm. Ah, oh, Indian Peter Stella. Hello, hello, hello. Somebody there. Good stuff. Uh, just a quickie tonight, really. I've been busy. Uh, evening, Peter N. Uh, past few days, loading people up for all the auction goodies. It doesn't seem like three days since the auction. It really doesn't. Been a bit of a manic few days. Mega row with UPS. Whatever you do, never use UPS. Long story, but uh, I won't bore you with it at the moment. But anyway, not to worry. Uh, we're getting there with them. Complaints going in, etc. Evening, Peter C. Um, so next few days, uh, tomorrow is Thursday, isn't it? I've lost track of days already this week. Goodness me. Yes, Thursday. Uh, Thursday, I should be around God Manchester most of the day if you want to come and collect still. And Friday, um, Thursday evening, I need to go out. The Friday night, I don't really want to be there later than 7 so I can get back in time for the live stream. Saturday and Sunday, I can be around both days. I'd really quite like to have Sunday off. So if you've got a choice, if you're coming at the weekend and you've got a choice, uh, if you could make it a Saturday, that'd be rather lovely. Then I might actually get a couple of hours off on Sunday. A break away from it, which would be nice for a change. But uh, there we are. It's going good so far. Um, next auction is obviously the spares and the books and stuff. End of April. I'm still torn with the idea of whether to do Saturday and Sunday. I think I probably will do. Um, which would be the 27th and 28th. I'll probably do the, I suppose it matters, probably do the books Saturday and the spares Sunday. So I'm thinking because the books might be a longer sale. So rather than to trudge, yeah, doing a short one, have a long one to look forward to, I'll probably do it the other way around. Um, I think I've already put the spares down as the 28th anyway. Yes, I have there, look. So um, that's my current thinking. I will confirm in the next few days. I've had a rough look how many, there's supposed to be another big batch of books coming in. So we're glad to coin up patents and stuff, I think the chap said. They sound quite interesting. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, yeah, Eden Brian, Eden David, Eden Peter, Eden Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Nice to chat today. Thanks again. No problem. Yes, always good to catch up with people. That's been good the past few days. We've met some new first time customers, which has been nice. So, evening, if you're tuning in, and we try and encourage them onto the things. So, uh, yeah, some new, um, new customers, new collectors of fairground stuff and of slotty stuff. So, that's good. Can't be a bit of fresh blood coming into it, can we? So uh, uh, there's also been a lot of interest in the um, the two, what I call modern fruit machines that we sold. Although well, they're kind of 40 years old now. Um, people saying, oh, are we going to get more of that kind of thing? Who knows? You never know what's coming is the answer. I'm not kind of actively encouraging it. Because apart from anything else, it just takes up a lot of space. But I have, someone's already asked about putting in a two-player driving game, a Sega something or other. I don't know. Um, and somebody else has been on about another another fruit machine, possibly. So who knows? Um, more stuff might come out of the woodwork of that ilk. It is worrying to think that uh, what until recently I thought was like new is now 40 years old because it may feel old. On that, um, and on that note, uh, I've just got hold of a whole run of coin slots from 1st of October 1983 where are we here through to I think end of November 84 so it's a good interesting stuff now I was trying to think 83 84 so I've got the world's fair and the coin slots and all the market traders which is nice um, I've probably got the world's fair because that's all I ever kept I'd have been, uh, what would I have been, 12 then? So, um, yeah, I probably have got the World's Fairs, but it's nice to get the coin slots, because I'd throw all those out. Because at the time, of course, I wasn't interested in brand new modern machines, I was only interested in old stuff. So, um, 
I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of interesting things in these. And of course, a lot of it is adverts for um, booties. Yeah, what have we got? Laser Grand Prix. 1984 Tai Tail. Tay Tail, like Tato. Are launching a new laser disc racing game. Excellent. Astron Belt. Of course, there's video games. Lots of fruit, I can't probably see, can you? Fruit machine type things. Um, and all that. Uh, evening, Mr. Tree Frog. Um, here we are, more here. What are these? JPM. That was JPM, the. Um, can't see, can you? I need an overhead camera. I was trying to pick something up. Um, that Indiana Jones machine was JPM, wasn't it? Tankerton. Oh, that's Tony Volante. Ah, just a new Tony. He was a nice chap. Tankerton Automatics. Spooky. Ah, fancy that. Um, there we are, I'm distracted. An amazing collection of uh, bandits, mostly down in Kent in his uh, HQ. The big operators in Kent. And he also had, uh, at the time, all the uh, Lee working models. And a couple of big raw standing machines, like the Watling Big Six. Mills, Chewies, I think they were, he had. And really rare bandits, Buckley Bones and uh, the... Um, oh, what's the one with Bally with the seven slots on it? I can't remember what you call it offhand. All that sort of stuff. Incredible collection. Got some photographs of it somewhere. So, uh, yeah, so these are good. So I'll go when I have time, ha, 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 joke, through these and see what interesting thing there is. But, of course, it gives dates because a lot of the adverts are, you know, new. And it will be whatever machine it is, new. Which is interesting. R&D's first Scottish auction of slot machines, presumably. Maybe it's a slot machine auction. Contemporary slot machines, though. And Aussie K, look at that, Aussie K of OK Automatic. Gosh, another face from the past. And a customer from many years ago, no longer with us again, sadly. Aussie K, sure. Well, neither of them will mind me saying so, as they're both no longer with us. But Aussie K and um, Henry Powell Sr. used to come down to the auctions when we had them at Huntington Racecourse. Uh, I think they take it in turns to drive. And Aussie K had come down his. But he had a Bentley or Rolls with OK, OK1, I think, he had on the number plate, which was rather good. And uh, he and Henry always used to moan about uh, whose turn it was to buy the tea from the tea wagon. 50 pence a cup or whatever it was, despite them both being multi-millionaires. It was always quite funny. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Peter says, very interesting to see to me a big void covering the 60s through to mid 70s of machines available, but now the 80s seem to be available. Yeah. Multibell, that's it. Well done, Brian. Multibell. AC Multibell. Yeah, what a machine. I haven't seen one of those for years. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. That um, I think what it was, a lot of that stuff, like I said before, was kind of transitional period, wasn't it? It was pre. Uh, yes, kind of that electromechanical, really interesting electromechanical stuff. It was a relatively short life because all of a sudden videos came along, early 80s, or well, late 70s technically speaking, but early 80s they took off and just killed everything else, stone dead. It was just videos, 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 wasn't it? And obviously the AWP type fruit machines. And kind of, it it seems from memory and from what there is about, there was the kind of the really interesting novelty machines. For a good while, there was hardly anything made. It's only again in more recent times when you, with the advent of the um, of redemption machines. I mean, I, I quite like good redemption arcades. I hate the fact that you have to spend all day and 50 quid to get enough tickets to get one lollipop for the kids. It really pees me off. But the actual machines are often quite good fun to play. And a lot of them, of course, are based on, we'd recognise them back as being 30s machines, like, you know, bomb, R and bomb droppers and things and ski ball machines and... Uh, like the roll them in, the wheel them in, the streets wheel them in type things, all those sorts of things are kind of reinvented now as, as redemption machines. So there's been a resurgence and all that kind of novelty stuff. But in the 80s, I think it was just basically video games. EWPs, that's pretty much it. What's a, who knows what a KW Vortex is? There isn't a picture of it, unfortunately. 
an advert here for uh here we go vortex from kw systems the outstanding new four player centerpiece for arcades also the highly successful aztec gold and money mine pushers so as it's calling vortex a centerpiece not a pusher i'm guessing it's not a pusher i don't know it's only 41 years old and i don't know what it is don't know what it's called anybody remember one of those it says great names of the past. I've got Ozzy and uh, Henry Powell and uh, Tony Valenti, yeah. Video jukeboxes. Wow. These would be great fun reading for all these. I was very chuffed to get hold of these. The coin sites seem to be particularly hard to find. World's Fair's not quite so bad. Quicksilver, what's this? Quicksilver, Harry Levy, Quicksilver. Silver Jackpots, Pushers, Bingo. Coin Bingo game. Bobo the Singing Dancing Clown. I think I sold one of those. It looks familiar. What else we got? Somebody there in a very smart white tux here, they call him Bingo. I remember we did for, uh, I think it was for... What program was it I did it for? I think it was one of the Shakespeare and Hathaway, uh, Shakespeare and Hathaway series. They did a a bingo hall episode, and the guy they hired Mum's Jag. They put the bingo caller in in, in Mum's Jag, and he looked great. Looks so kitsch. Mm -hmm. Bingo caller reminds me of him. The costume girls have got him off to a tee. It was really good. Stuff more AWPs. Let's try if there's anything else interesting. Again, you see, looking through here, it's all basically all AWPs and video games. The odd pusher pinball there, Zakaria, something or other. I can't see what it is. A couple of pool tables. We'll see what's interesting in the classified ads. That's always good. See what was cheap. Poker machines. Let's have a look. Crompton's announced the new two and three player silver glide wall machine pushers. Silver surf and silver skis. Oh, yeah, I see. You've got silver surf four player, silver skis six player. And they're announcing the new two and three player silver glide wall machine pushers. Mm. So again, see from that advert, we can date those machines, which are great. How else do you date them? So they were then new as of October the 1st, 1983. Let's see, what could we buy cheap? Centipede uprights, pool tables, bar crest. Uh, this is anything interesting. JPMs, Ace Busy Bee, whatever that was. Pool tables, uprights, videos, and here are not videos. Mm. Can't see anything offhand. That's annoying. Something interesting. Snoopy tables, little fruit nudges. Oh, here's a good one. Collectors, investors, the chance of a lifetime. The ultimate collection of antique slot machines is now for sale. Here we go. Offers invited for the following. Mills Operators, Bell, Mills Torchfront, Poinsettia, Castlefront, QT, Jackpot, War Eagle, Roman Head, High Top 4 and 3 reelers. Blah, 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 blah. Kayla Superior 4 reeler, Mills Horsehead Bonus, Mills Golden Nugget, Watling Rolver Top Checkerboard, Rolver Top Coin Front, Jackpot Vendors, Jennings Peacock, Jennings Dutch Boy, or Dutch Box they've put here, Operator Bell. Typo, Jenny Standard Chief, Little Duke, Mutoscopes, Choice of Three, Brian's Magic Machines, 20 foot, 200 only made. Brian's Magic Machines, 20 foot. Don't understand that. 200 only made, string cutter, disappearing disc. Many others must sell. Sensible offers, no time wasters. These are all desirable collector's items. Ring J on 04826. I don't think the phone number will work now, sadly. I think it might be sold by now. 
Brian's Magic Machines brackets 20ft dot bracket 20 foot. Wonder what that was supposed to say. That's curious, isn't it? Hmm. Bell Fruit Gamblers. Anything else interesting? Bally Casino slot machines. Yeah. Miscellaneous swag pin tables. Um, oh, some Alka machines here. Yeah. Alka Puckman. Upright. £295. Alka Roadrunner. Upright. Mooncrestor. Atari Missile Command. Atari Centipede. All, all early video stuff. I thought there might be some uh, new potential village theme park. Okay. Workshop staff. What else is for sale? A three story former cinema. Sounds like the sort of thing I'd buy. Amusement arcade for sale in East London. Okay, yeah. You could buy that. Wanted one for sale. Small bingo. Hmm, there you go. Interesting stuff. Not really when you're on the other side of the screen and you can't see the thing, of course. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll look to scan some interesting bits out. And uh, I'm sure over the next few weeks we can be, be entertained. But there we are. So I was very chuffed to get those. If anybody else has got any heaps of coin slots laying about, uh, be interested to see them. Hmm. Ah, Peter says, interesting, the local BBC TV came to Merivale's retro room, did a great interview with Dean and Sophie, but would not do the old Penny Arcade extension, as retro is the new big thing. Ah. And the people came into play, 35 to 50. Yeah, I suppose the thing is, it's, yeah, I've had kind of similar conversations with several people over the past few days that have been collected to come to collect stuff. Um, I mean, these, you know, new, as I call the fruit machines, I know they were starting to make money. I've burnt so many over the years, you wouldn't believe, threw them away. And, um, yeah, I've probably told you before, years ago, I did a job for Quality Street Chocolates. That would be about 30 years ago now. Might be slightly more. How old was I? I don't know. About 30 years ago, let's say. I won't say I'm too old. And one Christmas, they brought out four new chocolates. And the advert was a, gi a giant fruit machine. And the four chocolates came up on the on the reels. And the thing spewed out heaps of quality street. Anyway, they wanted to film. They had, they had to be shot over August Bank Holiday Weekend, bizarrely. And they had this idea that they wanted the arcade on Brighton Pier. Brighton Pier quoted them a thousand pounds a minute for the minute the first light case rolled onto the pier and the last one rolling off the pier. So they decided they couldn't afford Brighton Pier. Instead, they hired Ealing Studios, built an arcade, and I supplied all the machines. They only just had to light up, so I've had a whole load of AWP machines, like the two we sold at the weekend. As long as they lit up, didn't need to work. I bought them at a back of uh, Great Yarmouth in the Pleasure Beach. They're all stored under the um, roller coaster. I paid twenty-five pen each room, uh, and I hired them to the job for one hundred and twenty-five pounds each. Quite good. And then when we finished the end of that weekend, they all just got smashed up, smashed them up because I couldn't, didn't have anywhere to store them, couldn't sell them. I couldn't get twenty-five pound each for them. To be honest, I remember Albert at the Pleasure Beach saying that they didn't. They'd stopped. They had tried to kind of sell a few, give a few away to people. It was giving them more grief than they needed because people would buy an old slot machine for 25 quid, which didn't work or, you know, was going to go wrong. And then they come back and pester the arcade mechanics all the time. Oh, I bought this and it don't work. Can you come and fix it? Blah, blah, blah. So they just threw away in the end. But uh, yeah, there we go. How times have changed, eh? So if I'd have kept that lorry load of slot machines that I burnt, which now seem to be £500 plus a piece, Hmm. If only we knew, eh? If only we knew. 
Pitts says, Barker's MPU3 and JPM, AWP, and AWP make good money these days. Yeah, that's probably what they all were. Because I say it was, it must be 30 years ago. I was old enough to, to drive a big lorry. So 20 something. So let's say it was 30 years ago. So 94, and they were old machines. They were old knackered machines. And, then, and knackered from a seaside arcade, bearing in mind, so they must have been a good 10 years old. So yeah, they would have been probably early 80s machines. So yeah, probably were MPU3 machines, I guess. Mm. There you go. The question is, what should you all be stashing away now, isn't it? That's in 30, 40 years time. You just look at them and think they're never going to be worth anything. And that was the thing back then, I think. We thought they were just so kind of chipboardy and plasticky and kind of just nothing to them. But nobody ever thought they'd ever, anybody ever want them. Only, I think, I did sometimes think some of the ones, if they were, I mean, maybe like the Indiana Jones one, or I think there used to be, there was a Coronation Street one, wasn't there, and things like that. Or if they're based on certain films or something. And you can kind of see that they might have become collectible. But just the general ones, just, just general fruit machines. Who would have thought anybody would want them? Of course, now they do. There you go. But at least now I've got a year's, or well, year and a bit's worth of um, mid-80s adverts for all those kind of machines. There's probably some quite interesting, uh, you know, data in there. Names of machines, when they were made. Um, info about them. God knows where I'll get time to type it all into the database, but you know, it's there. Uh, Peter W says the late great John Carter smashed up a Crompton's penny falls with sledgehammers as no one wanted them. Yeah, when he when he's when he bought the big travelling arcade. Yeah. Now we had um, the the top bits, didn't we? We sold at the weekend. Um, pusher spares for the those nice top flashes, these ones the cakewalk tops I'm hoping, knowing who's bought them they're, they're going to end up on a cakewalk pusher and I'm hoping that the cakewalk pusher might be on site or be destined to go on site I'll keep you posted on those and so it would be nice if they get back, back to use. What was nice with these, they still had the 1D in the middle. It had been scraped out and put 5P on it or something, so. Yeah. There you go. That was, good, um, that was a good little find. Talking of finds, let's see what else, because we're taking stuff in for the next auction. What are people wanting? Have a look down here. Tutti Frutti, anybody with Tutti Frutti? Magic Roundabout, there will be a Magic Roundabout coming later in the year. Military merchandise, cranes, shooters. Somebody said there was a shooter on eBay, but it's about five grand or something, I think. I don't know, I don't often look at eBay, I don't have time. Don't know what one it was, but this this kind of thing, a sort of a midway or bally or something. If anybody's looking for one and got five grand to spare, apparently there's one available. What do we sell this one for? 650. Well, it was a car, a car one, a trophy. That was quite nice, that. Hmm. There you go. Have a scroll through. See what people are looking for. See what we can find them. Cranes, 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 cranes. Need more cranes. Cranes and shooters. Or... Two weeks' time. A week and a half's time, really. 14th. Um, not this weekend, but next. Bear that one in mind. And talk of next weekend, I'm going to try and get to the elephant house on the Saturday. Sound's gone. Oh dear. Your sound or my sound? Hang on a minute. Let me. If I just refresh this, let's see if that does anything. Is that better? Is that better? Question mark. I can't even spell. Is that better? There you go. Try that. 
Uh, Peter says, one of the 80s JPM club machines I had on site is now believed extinct. Wish I'd kept it. Oh, wow. It's back. Oh, sounds back. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, I guess probably a lot of that is. I'm sure if I start going through these um, coin slots, say the sort of a year odd run of 83 to 84, if I listed all the machines in there, which I will do at some point. That's probably some of those don't exist anymore, even in that short period of time. Weird, isn't it? Hmm. Strange. And probably some of those ones I smashed up and burnt are probably, you know, if I'd have kept them, would have been unique ones by now. Who knows? Can't keep everything, but it's always nice that one of everything survives, I always think. But, uh, yeah, making making anything extinct is uh, is bad. Bad man. Bad man, Peter, for making that machine extinct. So we shall see. But it's interesting, yeah, I was hoping the um, the retro arcade at Yarmouth was going to, you know, click with people. I said before, when we did it, Dave and I did it, well, back in Botany Bay, 20, however many years ago it is, 25 years ago or something. Um, we were ahead of the time. It, did, it didn't work back then, which was a shame. But uh, hopefully now it'll work, and hopefully it might inspire one or two others. There's still the one down. I think it's down in. Is it down in Kent somewhere? We've got a lot of modern AWP. Well, not modern now, is it? Old AWPs, and if you like, uh, I've never been there. Cause it's not really my thing. But uh, perhaps I should go and explore. Somebody will know where it is. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's down in Kent somewhere. Um, and it's got a lot of this 80s stuff in. So, uh, yeah, perhaps we should go down there and have a chat. Perhaps we can have a meet up down there or something. I don't know. I'll have to try and get hold of the people. If anybody knows them, put in a good word. And we'll go from there. There we are. Um, right, that's it, I think, for me. I can't think of anything else I need to tell you. I hope. Hopefully, it wasn't, it wasn't me that scrapped it, it was your boss. Oh, okay, then we'll let you off. <laughs> let you off. Um, Peter says, yes, the retro arcade is very much working well. Hopefully not a flash in the pan. I think it's going to go well. No, I don't think it will be a flash in the pan. I think because uh, they've done it nicely, you know, clearly throwing a ton of money at it. Done a good job of it. And... Um, yeah, I thought when I first sort of saw it and saw the plans, well, yeah, I think that's going to work. I think it will. I'll go back, um, as I promised, back in, I don't know, we'll get the holidays out of the way when you're not quite so busy. And I'll come up and uh, do a little video bit about it. And I'll do you as well, Peter. We won't leave you out like, uh, was it ITV you said to done it? On a BBC. We'll do both sides. Be nice to do a bit about the uh, the actual about the model release as well, really. Because uh, I've always rather liked that. And again, there's not many model releases left, is there? So it's uh, it's great that it's thriving. Hmm. Uh, right. Yes. As I was saying. So tomorrow I'm around. Friday. Friday night video as usual. Uh, the weekend I'm around for collections and deliveries and dropping stuff off as well. If you've got the choice of Saturday or Sunday, if you're thinking of coming on the weekend, if you can make it Saturday, I'd appreciate it rather than Sunday. I try and get everybody in Saturday and try and have a few hours off on Sunday before doing it all again next week. Busy times, busy times. Excellent. Our clay club in Leeds seems to be doing very well with retro stuff. Mm, don't know that one. Send me some details, email me some links or something. There was one I found as well, I can't remember where I found it now, YouTube somewhere, there were some videos um, of a place in like an old mill building, lovely building, up north somewhere, I can't remember. I think they put that together kind of in lockdown and that's and that was all videos, I believe, again. 
and brute machines. Maybe that's a one up. It was up, up north somewhere. Um, I, didn't, I don't think, I think stupidly, I didn't save a link to the YouTube video I found of it. There you go. But it's there somewhere if anybody wants to find it or knows what I'm talking about. And um, it'd be good to see, wouldn't it? Smashing. Ooh. It says the same people who have opened in Blackpool. Oh, excellent. There we go. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it just is a, a generational move on, I guess, isn't it? A, a, the next generation of vintage arcades. All us old farts with our cranky old penny machines. We're, uh, yeah, old hat. The, the new vintage is uh, digital, as they say. Scary thought, isn't it, really? But quite interesting. Be interesting to see what happens. Mmm. Uh, right, so all being well, I should be back. Oh, I was in the El Casino building. Machines, bar, diner, over three floors. Oh, excellent. Okay. Sounds like a day out. A jolly to Blackpool. Hmm. Sounds good to me. Who wants to organise a jolly in Blackpool? Be wonderful if somebody else organised something for a change and I could just turn up. I'd love that. Let me try to sort it out. So yeah, if anybody fancies that job of organising a jolly in Blackpool, lovely. I'll be there. So will Peter, he says. So that's two for a start. need someone to sort it marvelous right as i was saying so uh friday night video should be good uh thursday friday saturday sunday is all good for collecting next week i'm not going to be around so much so if you have to leave it till next week to collect you can but uh it's gonna be a bit more tricky got lots of things to do i've got to crack on with the next auctions etc um but uh, yeah, next few days are fine. So there we are. Right, I'm going to go and get some dinner. Thank you all very much. I might uh, read, a, read a coin slot or two maybe with my dinner. And uh, I'll catch you all Friday. Mr. Tree Frog says he's never been to Blackpool. There we are. Somebody will hold your hand. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be quite safe. You don't need a passport. It's, uh, it's kind of worth it for the experience, I think. Peter will show you around. You know some very interesting places in Blackpool. Mm, very interesting. <laughs> and on that note, I think we'll sign off, shall we? That's probably a good idea, yes. Right. Thank you all very much. Uh, catch you all hopefully Friday night. Should be, shouldn't be a problem. Unless anybody's really late collecting on Friday. Um, and then we'll go from there. Marvellous. Thank you all very much. See you next time. Nighty night. -night.